Hi everybody, this is Renee Dowling from Reflections Art Studio and Community Classroom. I've been asked to um, ask what kind of journals I use for my clients and for myself, and lately I've been making my own. I've been using Canson watercolor paper. It's 140 pounds or 300 grams. And um, when I tear out the pages, I fold them in half and then use my bone folder to flatten them down a little bit just to kind of train them and then just stick them inside of each other. Um, I try to do like um, like the backs of the pages with the backs of the next page and so you have like two pages that have the really nice plate nice side to um, paint on and then the other side so it's kind of consistent. And um, if you want to, you can clip the corners. Whoops, that one doesn't work. You can use a paper clip or a bowl clip, whatever you prefer. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't do that. And then I have an old awl and I have one of those um, cutting, I don't know what they're called, but they're self-healing boards. And some people measure, I don't, I just eyeball. So I just go a little bit down from the top. This is a three hole pamphlet stitch and about approximately same distance here. And some people also go like this and fold the page like, like that and then poke through and that way it gets right on the line. And I use this waxed jewelry th um, thread to um, do the binding. Um, some people use string, yarn, um, embroidery floss, but I like this because it's stiff. And when you tie a knot, it holds really well. Um, I'll, some, you don't need a darning needle. I've used it with, I've done this without, but it just makes the process faster. If you want the knot to be on the inside, then start by poking the needle through the inside. And um, like some people like to measure like one, two, three of uh, length for, for the string, but I like to leave it attached because then I can adjust it at the end and then I don't waste any string. So I'll just poke it through the middle, pull it through, and you can go to the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. So I'm going through the this hole here and then go, go right to the top so on the inside and then back through the middle from the outside and just pull the string There, now I have this great big piece of string here, so I don't need that. So I'm just going to pull. There, and then when you're doing it, you want to make sure that one end of the string is on the right side underneath the main string and the other one's on the left. And then you go right over left and under. And then left over right and under. And I like to do, do one more knot just for good luck. And then some people like to leave the string hanging down over top of under, like past the book and they add jewelry and stuff, but I can't be bothered doing that. And then you just click off, clip off the string and voila, you have a booklet. Just don't have my scissors handy here. There. And then um, recently I bought myself this little tool here. It's called the Cropodile. And you can adjust um, how big the size of your hole is. And it just goes really easily through paper. And it even works on metal. You just push down like that and you get a nice, nice hole. And it's even easier. You don't even need to use a, a needle. Oh, I hope that helps you. That's a three-hole pamphlet stitch. That's the easiest one. Once you get a hang of it, it only takes about two minutes to do maximum. 
and um, you can do a five hole pamphlet stitch which is really good if you have like papers that aren't the same size but I find the three hole pamphlet stitch is plenty good enough <laughs> 